let's start with uh, the basic platform and that you had and do some sketches on that uh, we'll do by first we will add uh, some support lines we have one here ish important is that the line that are between here and here are straight perfectly straight so you can add uh, a sketch plane uh, on that uh, but we'll come to that later um, so we'll have the basic blade here uh, start with uh, extrude extrude it half the width of the actual thickness of the blade because we will mirror the other side so they were are uh, perfectly um, copies of each other so it's not just like say it's just it's a bit uh, not to scale right now but set it to like four millimeters on this particular blade um, we can so we'll say it will be eight millimeters when ready um, in total we will add a construction plane and we'll add it through edge at an angle choose the edge next and set it to 90 degrees and I don't understand why they have it to 45 degrees because for me at least in my world the default should be 90 degrees because that's in 99% of all the cases we we do go by 90 degrees uh, done uh, now we have somewhere to sketch our uh, basic bevel shape on so we will mark that uh, uh, plane choose sketch on it you see we have these small uh, pinkish uh, violet uh, points uh, from the other sketch uh, or the or the object itself where we have inter intersections so we can actually draw on that keeping it super simple just uh, up to that one straight up just to have some extra um, up there and down to this one um, <coughs> and close it now we have something to actually draw out our bevel with so we'll try that see how it goes because this is not always working it can be a bit of a hassle uh, what i usually do is that i trim off this one because i have had issues with that before close it again and then we add uh, go by tools sweep mark the plane next then we have to choose uh, a path that we will extrude this uh, bevel shape onto and you can you need to test a bit with this but i usually choose this one uh, and if that's not perfect you can try this one also uh, depends on how you want it sometimes it doesn't work 100 but we'll see if this works anyway i use if it's uh, like this one here um, i will just extrude the last part usually works not always but usually we'll see if it works on this particular uh, object uh, then we can go in uh, go in and hide uh, the sketch plane because it can be in the way when we try to sh uh, choose object so go to tools uh, subtract uh, mark the blade that we want to keep and this part we want to remove this one and done now we have a basic bevel of the knife but we want to have a nice transition also uh, here so we'll open that sketch plane again so we have something draw to draw by um, what I want to do now is actually add one more construction plane 
uh, in 90 degree angle to this line we'll see if that works i have had issues with it so we'll see uh, not that one sorry add construction plane offset through edge edge at angle and it actually worked um, next and as usual 90 degrees or zero degrees in this case it was zero degrees i still haven't got a grasp on that and done choose that plane sketch we hope that have this nice pink line so you can need to like go into 3d view ish just to know which uh, pink line you're gonna choose so you know it was the purple country again and select this one no. it's not always logical in shaper how to choose things uh, sketch and we know that it was this point here in the front uh, and the points down here that we want to connect so what we will do uh, can add a sp spline the control point i like the one with the control points and i will draw down here and down there Cool. Let's fix, clean this up a bit. Oh, sorry for that. Try to look at the the three D view. Cool. Now we have all lines we need to actually make the nice transition on the plunge line. So we can hide some planes because I usually get distracted by them and what I do now is that I first pick not that one this one this one we will use these two to actually do the transitioning and we will use the uh, let's see here the loft tool for this so I mark the loft tool select this one this one and this curve and that one and done and what i can do now is as before with the previous one i want to keep that one i want to no i want to keep that one this is the and remove it no. So, perfect, let's hide some sketches, make it a little simpler to look at. Here we have the knife bevel with nice transition and everything. So, but this is how you actually do the bevel. And if you would like to just, uh, create both sides uh, just do a mirror and a little bit on that uh, in the right direction 